Alright, so this is the second in my Lively Up Yourself videos. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at how you can liven up a clap in Ableton. So I've got a drum rack loaded up with a 707 clap on pad 1 here. And I've just put together a little loop. I'm going to draw in a clap on the 2nd and 4th beats. the clap on this pad and copy it over onto the second pad so I've got the same thing on both pads. With the first one I'm gonna detune it slightly and pan it a little bit to the left and I'm gonna do the exact opposite on the second one, tune it up, pan it to the right. <laughs> Draw in the second clap. I'm gonna push one just a little bit before the beat. And the other one just a little bit after the beat. That's too much. on the show hide devices just so I've got a bit of space on the screen. Gonna go up to audio effect rack and drop it in. Now what I'm about to show you you can obviously do using uh, send and returns uh, but there are advantages of doing it this way uh, the way I'm about to show you so just bear with us a little bit. I'm gonna right click in here click create on chain Lower the volume a bit, and then I'm going to duplicate this chain twice. And the first one I'm going to rename Dry. Second one Reverb, and third one uh, and Delay. Just going to mute the third one for now click on the reverb and I'm just going to load up uh, just one of Ableton's presets so just go for the top one. Right, you want to make sure that the dry wet here is at 100% um, so now with the third one muted when I play this you'll be able to hear the dry signal and the 100% reverb signal <laughs> I'm just going to mute that for now, go on to my delay, load up, ping pong delay, uh, set this to 100%, maybe lower the volume just a little bit there, now I'm going to click on this chain button here, and with the dry signal I'm going to get this box and I'm going to extend it out over two places with the reverb one just unmute it there and I'm going to drag that into position one one and with the delay I'm going to drag that into position two two click on this to open up the macros click on map and in a highlighted green area I'm going to click on it and map it to macro 1 and then up here in the macro mappings I'm going to have minimum value at 0 maximum at 2 so now when I move this macro knob if you look at this orange bar, the macros will move the orange bar over two positions. Whatever is directly underneath the orange bar is what you will hear. 
so at position zero here you can see it's just above the dry signal nothing else if I switch it to position one you got the dry signal and the 100% wet reverb signal and to position two you've got the dry signal and the 100% wet delay signal so I'm just going to hide all this duplicate this loop a couple of times and then I'm just going to record some automation in <laughs> of doing it this way over just setting up sends is now when I EQ the clap it'll obviously EQ the reverb and the delay also having it set up this way I can place uh, the reverb and the delay in my drum group and have my drum group processing on everything So that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I'll be back next week with another lively video. Peace.